I'm here in Adelaide at Red Arc's manufacturing facility. These guys run a high quality operation here and they've just nearly doubled the size of the factory. I'm gonna go inside, talk to the boys, see how it's all done. Stuart, this is an amazing facility you guys have here. Uh, tell me a little bit about what goes on here and, and why do you guys build everything in Australia at Red Arc? Yeah, right. well, basically everything is done uh, here in the factory right from the research and development of the product yep. uh, from the stage of getting the idea from the field right through to uh, designing and engineering the product uh, bringing it out here and, and developing that idea into a finished good. So Stuart the beautiful thing about having everything built and designed in Australia is that if someone has a problem with anything if they want customer service they don't just have to call up a hotline they can actually talk to the guy who probably designed and built their actual unit. That's right, exactly. Because it's all done here, uh, we can have those people on hand right alongside the, the people that talk to the end users, like myself on the technical helpline, yep. right through to the engineers that design the product. This is some amazing view here. What exactly do you, what do you do with this box, yeah. Stuart? So, so this bench here is for building our battery management system, yep. and there's a series of jigs here for the build-up. Um, this box here is actually where the unit gets programmed and tested at all its high voltage thresholds as well so that we can ensure that anything that happens to it in the field we know that the unit is going to put up with that because some of the power you can get at caravan parks and shore power on boats and that type of thing can be fairly dirty 240 volt and so we know that the unit can put up with it by putting it through all of those things here in the factory before it leaves. Yeah cool, so what doesn't kill it makes it stronger. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So this is our surface mount technology room. Uh, this is a world class facility where we can actually take uh, the, the raw circuit board yep. and build it up with all of our surface mount components to, to then go out into the production area to have the rest of the, the product built upon. Good day Anthony. Hey Carlo, how are you? Great mate. Excellent. This is an awesome facility you guys have here. Cheers. Um, uh, the boys have been showing us around. I can't believe the amount of I guess quality assurance that you guys have here. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. I guess, uh, particularly from where we started to where we are today, the amount of uh, investment we've made in in the automation and the, and the quality of the developing quality products. I think the highest standard here is is the one around innovation, and that's sure. one that no one else can really force you into. Sure. That seems to be pretty core in what you guys do here. Yeah, it's, it, it is one of our uh, six values. Uh, innovation is is certainly right up there, um, and you know, for us. Uh, we're not a follower, we're a leader in what we do and we want to develop cutting edge products and for us, you know, when we've got lower cost products coming into the marketplace, we've got to be ahead of the pack. What's exciting now? What's happening uh, in terms of new products? You know, where do you guys see the future? Well, probably the, the biggest things that we're working on at this time are to do with the vehicle charging systems that are coming out. Uh, the manufacturers are, are building vehicles that are more efficient, yep. more powerful, and for that they also reduce the ability of the vehicle to charge yep. dual battery systems and the like. So uh, we're heavily focused on ensuring that people are able to take the things that they want to take away with them and power them. Uh, by developing systems that can work with the vehicle to make sure they can still charge their batteries properly. We certainly have some of the harshest conditions in the world in Australia, as well as the biggest variation of conditions. So we're talking about building this stuff to Australian conditions. We've got a couple of battery chargers here, and one of them has what looks like jelly all over the circuit board. Mm. What's going on there? That's right, so these are our BC-DC in-vehicle battery chargers yep. and what this component is filled with here is a, a red arc potting and what that gear does is actually protects the electronics components from dust and moisture ingress, yep. protects them from vibration so they can tolerate all of the harshest, harshest conditions around Australia. We don't only test one product in a thousand or one product in a hundred, we test every single product yep. and usually that happens more than a couple of times throughout its build up process so uh, a, a component will get built to a certain level and tested and then it'll complete the build and then test it again and then once it's all cleaned up and potted as we've seen it'll get tested again. Great Australian four wheel drive products, they're successful in Africa, they're successful in Russia, yep. they're successful in the USA because of the conditions and the experience that we have here in Australia. Yeah. The temperatures, uh, the, the harsh roads, uh, uh, no better testing ground than here. So if 
we can design our products that are outstanding in Australia, yep. then they're going to do well in the rest of the world and, and that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm.